to give us some tips on how to make the most of what we've got lying around. Hi, Jamie. Hi, Jamie. Hello, mate. How are you two? You all right? We're yeah, all right, we're thank you. We're good, we're good. Um, I watched um, uh, Keep Cooking and Carry On a couple of, couple of nights ago and I thought, my God, you guys were quick. That was, that was fast <laughs> off the marks. So a good show. Yeah, thank you. I think in 20 years, that was what people probably don't realise outside of live TV is a three month work, a job we did in about three days. So that was pretty quick. The team were amazing. We obviously had to have a small team and do it all in our office. So, um, yeah, we're really proud just to sort of try and be useful. And of course, as you know, it's all about tone, isn't it? It's not just cooking. It's not just ideas. It's not just recipes. It's like swap outs, keeping yeah, recipes yeah. really flexible. So if you haven't got one thing, OK, well, can it work with different things? Then that's that's the main thing. And what's, what was really good about it was that actually it's very realistic about the things that we would have in our store cupboard ingredients. It's not like you're trying to sneak in something. You're going, well, I've, I haven't got that lying around. For sure. So what I try to do uh, for my bit, uh, which is the only thing I can do or be useful at, is come up with like mothership recipes, principal recipes that are really flexible to what you've got or haven't got in your fridge or your freezer. And um, so what you'll see throughout the week, uh, Monday to Friday, is a whole spectrum of recipes from curries to soups. Um, we did bread last night uh, and a really lovely um, sort of freezer fish pie. Um, but, you know, so far, so good. I mean, of course, the, the one thing that you guys would have picked up on is there's not one size fits all for anyone. Everyone's in a different scenario. We've got uh, single young people, single old people sort of um, on lockdown. We've got families on lockdown. Um, you know, so my family, like anyone, is affected. Well, you've, um, got, you've got one of them behind you. Who's that? Who's, who's that, that, that Buddy? Buddy. Hi, Buddy. Yeah. Buddy's Hi, buddy. a brilliant chef, isn't he? Jump up here. He's a bit short. I've been He's watching you. <laughs> I've been watching you, Buddy, on Instagram, and I've been very impressed with your cooking skills. You're definitely a chip off the old block, following in the footsteps of your dad. Do you love cooking? Yeah. What? Yeah. Uh, what are you, are you? Are you cooking something at the moment? Were you busy doing something then? Um, well, it's it, basically you, it's perfect timing for me because all hell is about to break loose because River's three and a half, uh, Petal's just doing her homework, um, so we're trying to get, keep a bit of a routine going. Uh, Mum has gone into cleaning overdrive, so you've never <laughs> seen. <laughs> she's just got a bucket and a mop with her all the time. Um, so yeah, we're just doing lunch. And um, so it, it, essentially, the both of you have escaped. Basically, this is the doghouse. <laughs> <laughs> what? Are you going to make something for us? What are you going to do? Uh, well, we're not. Well, Buddy's just making salad, which is, is his job. So, Buddy's tell him what you're going to do. I don't know what are you going to do. Well, we just got like some green leaves. He's going to chop up a bit of tomatoes, a bit of cucumber. He's going to use a speed peeler over there on a carrot and a bit of dressing. Actually, dressings is one of the things that we did on the show, which I know sounds really boring, but a you don't have to buy them. And if you use the three to one method, three parts olive oil or any oil you can get your hands on to one part acid. So that could be any citrus, any vinegar, bit of salt, maybe a bit of mustard, give it a shake up. That is brilliant, not just as a salad dressing, but as a marinade. You can put it on grilled or roasted fish or meat. Um, it brings real life into any tinned items. So if you're kind of getting out tinned beans and oh, that's a bit boring, um, you know, just a little dressing over it. Delicious. Same with things like tinned fish. Really, really nice. So look, Bud, come over in your... Um... <laughs> oh, do you like his T-shirt, by the way, guys? I love yeah. your Did you make... Is it a tie-dye? You can make those, can't you? Is that a... Tell them how you do it, Bud. <laughs> so, uh, obviously, we're, we're getting into the scenario where we've got to keep the kids busy. Um, so we're trying to do activities. We played Connect Four last night. We, uh, they made this. So uh, I think we all remember doing this. Yeah, of course, we did. definitely. Everyone else's laundry has now gone this colour. <laughs> so... <laughs> um, can I can I ask you, Jamie? Um, when we when we come out of all of this, um, yes. what do you think it's going to do to what, for our relationship with food? Because never have we appreciated more being able to go to a supermarket to look in our fridge, um, and I am scooping up the stuff in the bottom of the fridge, thinking now, well, I don't want to chuck that away. Uh, I, 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 if, I can, if I can have that and that, then I won't need to go out tomorrow at all. And so, yeah. you know, we're, we're probably eating healthier, perhaps. We're certainly probably throwing less away. So what do you think it's going to do to our relationship? Um, as I would expect, Philip, that's the, a deeply profound question. I mean, I, I think 
we have to remember we have to remember that COVID-19 came from you know the meat market in in China. Uh, many times over the last handful of decades, issues uh, with regards to viruses, etc., cetera, etc., cetera, have kind of mutated through the food chain. So I think now more than ever, because we're locked in. Um, the idea of waste recycling. Um, I mean, from my point of view, what's quite fascinating is if we look at our neighbours around the world over the last 500 years, some of the very best, most delicious dishes come from leftovers, come from um, waste not, want not. I've been in parts of Italy with nonnas where the idea of even having a sauce was a bonus. You know, I said, oh, what sauce are you going to put on it? Uh, or would you put on it? And she's like, if we're lucky, a bit of olive oil. I said, OK, and if we had some tomatoes, we'd have... So the idea that there's all this abundance of food, I think, will change us. I think it really will. I think what we're seeing online definitely is even, like, people that like food kind of find food, food magazine, food books, but the people that don't really like food or have um, don't really have a relationship of, of where food comes from, you know, and what to do with it and how it affects their body... They're slowly coming to the fray. There's new conversations happening online. And I think what I'm trying to do, because what can I do, uh, uh, is basically do little cooking classes every day. Yeah. Um, and I think even with little Buddy, I mean, I wasn't desperately trying to get Buddy on the box or anything like that. But I think the idea that kids can cook, that kids are amazing. And like we celebrate them on Britain's Got Talent for doing, you know, dancing and all these crazy, beautiful things. But actually using a knife, respecting a knife, cooking, hot things, danger, science, biology. Like I've never, I mean, kids always eat things when they grow it. So, you know, and I've grown stuff always, wherever I've lived. Even when I had a one bedroom studio flat and a little window and a bunch of pots, I still grew stuff. So I think, I think that we might reconnect with food in a really important way. And I think this is an, also an opportunity to remember that we are leaning a lot on the supermarkets but we should really try and use our fishmongers, our butchers, our independent stores. Their supply chains are very different. There is enough food in this country, but we're leaning heavily on the supermarkets, unusually so. So all of the food that would normally be in um, schools, pubs and restaurants, it has to go somewhere. So it's really worth everyone around the whole country just keeping, just keeping an eye um, come and say hello, River. Just keeping an eye on their small retailers because they need your support. Some of them may have closed. Some of them may still be open. But they're, they, they tend to have more food than, say, the big supermarkets yeah. that are getting hit. Oh, the, well, Daddy's back. Where's River? another one? Come on. Ah, uh, let's see. Oh, my God. Here's River. Hi, River. Hello, River. Yes. Aren't you so cute? Oh my gosh, you have gorgeous children. Well <laughs> done. <laughs> mm. we'll, uh, we'll let you carry on and finish, uh, oh. finish lunch. Um, thank, thank you both. You. Thank Look you, buddy. Thanks yourself. for coming in. Mm -hmm. Thank you, River. Bye, kids. Keep no. cooking and carry on. Bye. 5.30 Bye. weeknights on Channel 4. Thank you.